Hey guys, Lord British here, bringing up uh, another topic. Now this this isn't one that's um, like news as such. It's just uh, something um, I, I, I wish I wish to talk about basically um, right now. Um, I was watching a YouTuber called uh, Rhino Crunch. I'll leave a, a link down in the uh, the description for anyone who's interested in his channel. He he is a very very good. He has a very good channel. Sorry. Um, he focuses mainly on like um, survival type games, and he he's generally a very good YouTuber. He's very broad minded. He he has very um, objective opinions on things. Um, he did say something in one of his more recent videos that kind of um, now just to note, this isn't just something he said. It's something a lot of people do, and it's it's kind of a, a pet peeve of mine, if that makes any sense. So, genres, gaming genres, uh, who starts them, really, is, is what it amounts to. Because um, he threw out there, like, DayZ started the uh, the survival genre. And he was talking about the uh, H1Z1 game. Um, to which I've never heard of, and I was generally interested in looking that up and things. And it was nice it was brought to my attention. But um, when people make a claim saying, this started a genre... That's a pretty high claim for anyone to make on anything. It's, it's a bit like saying uh, Mario started the side-scrolling genre, when in all honesty he didn't. There were side-scrolling games way before Mario, and it, it's, it's the same in um, fantasy games. Some people would argue, oh no, it was Zelda. It's like, well, no, hang on, there was, uh, there was High Light before Zelda, you know? And a lot of people say, oh, but High Light's crap. It's like, well, no, it's still the same genre type. It's still the same type of game, and it's it's the same with survivals. Like um, most people would most people would argue, Daisy is the first um, is the first survival genre type game uh, to make it really popular, and I would agree with that statement every single way. I'm not saying Daisy is a bad game; it's a very good game. Same as Seven Days to Die is a very good game. I think it's a very good game. Minecraft is a very good game, and Minecraft came out before. Um, I believe Minecraft came out before uh, DayZ, and that's a survival type game. People would say, well no, it's like a different genre because it's voxel box based, but then you could also argue if Minecraft wasn't the first voxel box based game either. So it doesn't really matter what genre we're going into, there's always going to be arguments of what started the genre. Like people saying... Um, Doom started the FPS genre. It's like, no, Doom was the first uh, FPS to really, like, throw it into the future, really make it popular. Because before that, there was Wolfenstein 3D, and people loved that game. People thought that game was good. And if you want to go before that, there was actually Catacombs 3D, which was also made by John Carmack. And just, th this is it, just two minutes of research. Just two minutes of research on the internet. John Carmack also made a game called Hover Tank 3D, was yet another first person type game. So one would argue there's probably there's probably some before that, you know? And people probably had the idea before that. So what really starts a genre anyway? Um like I said, pet peeve. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I don't like it when people say, like, oh this started a genre. I can argue I would argue with people that um this was the first game to make it popular. And that's what it means. It's the same as, um, like, you know, RPG type games. Like, some people would argue that Zelda's an RPG. I, yeah, I, I could see that. You have to collect items to make your character stronger, hence, you know, roleplay. Um, and then, you know, people say, oh, there was Highlight, that was before that. And then you say, well, no, there was, like, there was, there was Dungeons and Dragons on the Intellivision. And if you want to go back further, there was the actual, you know, the board game, then the actual, just the book game of Dungeons and Dragons, and there was, there was crap long before that. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to say anything started a genre, because a genre starts with an idea, same as, um, I'm going to take you back, uh, about, probably eight, eight years or so, something like that, um, when, uh, oh, probably not that, probably uh, when I was first playing Hitman Blood Money on the 360, I think eight years is, I'm not sure if that is eight years ago now. When was uh, the 360 release? It was 2006, wasn't it? I'm not sure, I'd, I'd have to double check that. Um, anyway, 
when I was first playing Hitman Blood Money, and I first had an Xbox Live internet connection, I had a conversation with my friends down down my local pub of um, wouldn't it be great if uh, Hitman had a multiplayer like? And me and my friends having this conversation around the table. Well, how would that work? It doesn't make any sense because it would just turn into just, you know, generic run around a map shooting each other. I said, well, you'd have to make it cleverly. Like, for instance, you couldn't all uh, look, you couldn't all just look like 47. What, what you'd have to do is you'd have to populate the environment with NPCs, right? As I said, and you'd then have to basically either have a randomization to when you spawn into the environment, or you choose from the stock set of characters that spawn in that environment. So basically, you're playing as a character that looks like the NPCs. As I said, the NPCs would have to move around the environment a lot as well. As I said, and the idea is uh, you play like, I don't know, a four player game, of you'd sneak around the environment, and you'd either A, have a target you're all competing to get or each player becomes a target kind of thing. And you could even argue that, you know, there'd be a target and then you'd get bonus points for taking out another another player kind of thing. Right. Now, it's crazy to think that um, uh, quite a few years later, like, Assassin's Creed does the same thing as that idea that we came up with a bar years and years before. Now, at first you kind of think, oh, someone fucking stole my idea. No, you know, it's not that simple. It, like, there's a common phrase, great minds think alike, right? So, you could just argue that the fact what we came up with down in that bar was just a very good idea, but we couldn't implement it. There's no way, I mean, well, we could have, I suppose, if we all got into the gaming industry. But the point of the matter is, is normally what will happen is if you have a good idea, someone else is going to have an idea around the same lines. And that's what creates gaming genres, is just ideas, basically. There's always going to be someone who goes out and does a certain game first. There's got to be a game out there on any system that is basically the first ever first-person shooter. There's got to be a game that was, you know, the first ever game to be done from a first-person perspective. Now, the problem is, there's so many of those games out there, trying to find the original one is nearly impossible. It's like saying, uh, what was the original top-down game? Was it, you know, was it like, uh, was it highlight? No, no, because yeah, obviously, like I said, Dun Dungeons and Dragons was on the Intellivision, I think, and I think there was even one on the Atari as well, and that was top-down. Then you could argue that uh, Pac-Man's a top-down game, and then you could argue further that Pong is a top-down game. The list goes on forever. It's like. It's completely ridiculous to say anything started any one genre. So let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the subject. Um, like I said, the, the one the one statement that sums it up for me is someone can say this is the game that made the genre popular, or this is a good game in this genre. But to say a game starts a genre is kind of a ridiculous statement in itself because you can just go back many many years and you'll find you'll find parallels to everything, like, parallels to absolutely everything, you know, before there was even video games, there was text-based games, and before there was text-based games, there was just book and board games, and before that, there was just, it goes on forever, like, uh, another example, another example is this, is real-time strategy games, the first one that comes to everybody's mind is Command and Conquer, normally, and so you could argue Command and Conquer was the first game to make real-time strategies popular but you know it's like well hang on no command and conquer is just kind of like basically almost like a video game version of risk so risk was a board game and then you could also argue that chess is a tactical uh um taking of territory type game very simplistic oh well, why not chess isn't simplistic but it's a simplistic kind of it's just one board and things but you could argue that's basically the same thing as well like i said goes on forever it's ridiculous let me know your your thoughts in the description and, and whatever it's like this is just the subject of people saying something starts a genre basically uh, it's just a ridiculous statement and mo you know it's the same as i have games i gravitate towards like i love seven days to die i prefer seven days to die to day z that's not to say seven days to die is a better game than day z that's just my preference i prefer it over it right and same as there's loads of people out there who prefer 
daisy to anything else. And that's just personal taste, is what it amounts to. It's like, it's tons of people out there like uh, Kingdoms of Amalur, right? And it's a good game, and I, I do enjoy it, but I would... If I had a choice between, uh, between playing Kingdoms of Amalur or, um, I don't know, an Elder Scrolls game, I'd probably be playing an Elder Scrolls game, in, in all honesty. You know, so it it's just personal preferences. It, it's whatever you uh, whatever you enjoy most. Yet again, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the description or whatever, and I'll catch you later, guys.